Hello viewers! As always, thank you sa pagpaparoon nyo sa mga video projects ko. Disclaimer lang, ako ay isang avid enthusiast na sa di pang karinong pagkakataon ay nakahiligan lang din ang magpapansin sa harap ng camera. Ang intention ko ay mag-share lamang ng information. Siyempre, susubukan ko magbigay ng tamang information parate, pero any opinions formed by myself during any video should be taken in good spirit. I don't intend to sell or be partial sa mga review ko to the point na mangbabash ako ng ibang products or gear or whatever. Ang promise ko lang ay gagalingan ko ang production ng bawat video ko. Hindi po ako magaling pero I will try my best to learn and evolve to give you the best presentation possible. So, paalala lang, enjoy nyo lang ang content. Peace! Good day EDC community and welcome to my channel. The date is June 9, 2022 and yeah, um, I was away for a while, no, I uh, wasn't able to make videos on, 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 on my stuff and now I'm back, thank you for your patience. I'm supposed to start with, say, by saying this is a feature on the Leatherman Surge, but now I'm second guessing myself, I'm thinking what can be said of the Surge? which hasn't been discussed in other forum, you know, um, pretty much everything has been discussed about the Leatherman. We, we, we know that Leatherman is, uh, the, is the benchmark when it comes to multi-tools, you know, we know that the Surge is probably the best rated multi-tool in the line, uh, in all the leather, in all of Leatherman's lines. This year is a very heavy duty tool. Um, I just, uh, we we know that although if, even if this is the best, uh, I agree that I we I I cannot really endorse this as an EDC tool because of its weight. Uh, but still, this is a tradesman's tool, and um, as well as um, uh, a DIY guy um, like myself, uh, I'm very much uh, I'm finding this uh, my search at least my search very useful in my tasks so yeah what else can be said well i'm, I'm gonna say that uh, i'd like to say that you know i'm glad that there are two features here with the search that potentially can give you or the user um extended capabilities i would say well first of course we have the bit kit over here which is a proprietary um, leatherman thing you know, which goes into the bit extender, right? Um, good thing that they have this bit extender so that we could have uh, extra or longer reach. But aside from that, from just accepting these one fourth uh, inch Leatherman bits, they can now also accept these standard um, off the shelf uh, one fourth hex bits uh, by other brands. I would say. Okay, this is from Tolson, all right? The brand is Tolson. It's a 33-piece screwdriver bit set. Uh, because of that, we now I now have the capability of using standard hex bits, all right? So I'm not just limited to the hex bits that I have here. Now I could use security hex bits, uh, like so, you know, together with this, uh, ratchet, um, this bit extender, giving me more use and reach uh, with my surge. Kudos to Leatherman for that and thank you. I would also say that um, extending the capability of the saw blades uh, it's a good thing. I, I, of course uh, a good multi-tool is supposed to have a good saw blade, right? But I know of no other multi-tool, probably the, 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 the Victor Knox Swiss tool, uh, except for that, I know of no other brand or no other multi-tool that can accept or that, that, that has um, a metal cutting saw, right? But because of the replaceable T-shank type uh, saw holders here, uh, uh, the saw holder here um, with a surge, it can, I can now start um, accept um, start um, entertaining the thought or the idea of hey I can cut metal with my surge you know I I, I, I won't have to worry about 
um, ruining my surge and you know basically dulling my 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 knife or my my saw because I now have the capability of cutting metal now with <coughs> excuse me with my surge so now I go to, to you with the uh, Makita <coughs> excuse me so I got the Makita it's reasonably it's it's reasonably priced priced of course you, you also you can get the Bosch as well right but um, just for, for 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 this presentation's purposes I got the Makita metal cutting blade if you're getting the Makita as well I suggest you get at least the B25 because the B25 uh, can cut all right most metals from three to six millimeters although it it says here it's blank that it can cut stainless all right so I'm guessing there are other variants by Makita that can cut stainless I'm pretty sure there is because yeah there is there is a, uh, a chart here which allows for stainless uh, saw cutting right so watch out for that but with the B25 um, aside from three to six millimeters of most metals can also cut aluminum from three to six millimeters as well PVC and of course wood and yeah um, and for for about 95 pesos or two dollars right uh, here in the Philippines I now have the capability of uh, getting uh, work done with metal as well and also um, it extends the serviceability you know uh, as soon as I wear the, 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 the saw blades out no problem I could just get a replacement um, uh, saw or jigsaw T-shank type blade uh, as a replacement well so like I said kudos to um, Leatherman for uh, having us or giving us that um, extra option of um, inter-serviceability uh, inter between other brands and tools kudos to Leatherman for that for giving people like me um, the opportunity to uh, further have better use of this tool and uh, this this tool will see more work to come and yeah um, with that said well, wow okay so I was able to make uh, a content of I hope I was able to um, add to the knowledge base of Surge or Leatherman users out there that yeah with, with this with these uh, extensions or adaptation um, adapters or features we can now at least look uh, with other brands or implements to to work together with our own tools and yes thanks to thanks to that uh, I am still very much happy I'm not leaving wanted wanting uh, with, with this tool of mine of course like I said going back I remember saying that this uh, although this is not an I will not recommend this for an EDC tool. This is a, a very, for my, at least for myself, this is a critical part of my tool, tool uh, of, uh, this is a critical part of my toolbox, which I carry around a lot of times, especially on weekends. Uh, all right, I'm also looking at this thing that I added to the, the sheet here. I just got a, a retractable ID holder which attaches to this flashlight that I got here which goes into the Leatherman uh, sleeve here yeah so at least also another feature here I have a flashlight just in case I need one and it fits the the sheath nicely and of course with the retractable ID holder I can I cannot imagine uh, I cannot um, think of losing this anymore you know with this small thing uh, speaking of losing stuff, uh, yeah, I, I've lost already one uh, Leatherman hex bit. It's the it's a Torx six and four. Uh, it's it's a good thing that because of this, I don't have to worry about that. I I have a six and fours here uh, with a one fourth inch regular uh, drivers. So yeah, um, with that said, uh, I hope. 
um, I was able to make a good uh, presentation and argument for those uh, using their multi-tools or using their tools and doing such things as DIY stuff at least, you know, except for the tradesmen who, who really use this for, 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 for their professions. Uh, the capabilities here are um, spot on. They're, they're good. Uh, at least for, for me, uh, I'm really loving this uh, experience of having a multi-tool always on the ready on my side. And yeah. So with that said, I hope uh, I was able to make a good presentation for you. And yeah, I think I said that already. So until then, uh, I'm coming up with another uh, content. Uh, I'm adding a capability as well to my other multi-tool which is the SOG uh, watch out for that and yeah so until then peace out stay safe guys all right um, this here is uh, the, the the packaging behind the Makita product it shows the different kinds of um, saw types for metal and other um, materials uh, this is just for your reference anyway just look for either Makita or Bosch those are the good rants.